This video was brought to you by my patrons. Thank you so much for your support. Hello there! Following the series where we are exploring object oriented design applied to Godot engine, today we will talk about inheritance, another type of relationship between true classes. So let's get started. Inheritance is quite a simple concept, but it's very powerful. So let me open the help here to show you how pretty much it works. So here we have, uh, let me close this, we have a lot of classes, so as you can see we have uh, some base types like the integer, float, boolean, and these are building blocks for other classes like if you see here we have the integer building type. If you go up here we have object which is the base class for all known building types. So if we open it we have the nodes, we have reference and other classes here. And I will just go to nodes here, just so we can understand how inheritance works. So we have node, and this node inherits from object, and we have in spatial, and spatial inherits from node, and we have canvas item, and canvas item inherits from node. So the idea of inheritance is that you can have a class, and it's children. So Object is the parent class of node, for instance, and node is the parent class for spatial and for canvas item and animation player and so on. What does this mean? What does a parent class mean? Well, the children classes, I will open node here, will have the same capabilities of its parent. So, we have here uh, the node class, which inherits from object and is inherited by these other classes here. We have uh, some members that is properties of node class, we have some methods which are functions that this class does, but we can also have access to all an object offers as well. So if we go to the object class, we also have access to all of these methods here in the node class. And if we go to, uh, let's say, canvas item, we have access to everything that node and object offers, plus what canvas item offers. And if you go to the node 2D, we have everything that canvas item offers, plus what node offers, plus what object offers, plus what node 2D offers. So this is the idea of inheritance. You can create another class that inherits the properties and the functions, the methods of the, the parent class. Researching a bit, I find a very cool, I think that this is even better way to refer to inheritance, because uh, inheritance implies that you have, as I said, you have a parent class and you have a child class, and this can pretty much imply that we can have two parents, right? Because in nature, a child has two parents, right? The mom and the daddy. But if we think about it, actually, it's very standard that multiple inheritance is very, very dangerous. Even Godot doesn't allow you to have multiple inheritance exactly because this is very, very dangerous. So the concept that I'm talking about that I think that is even better than inheritance, it's the same, it applies to the same concept, it's basically the same thing, but is better. It doesn't imply that you can have two parents, like mom and dad. And the concept is generalization. Generalization is a mechanism for combining similar classes of objects into a single, more general class. And in my opinion, this is a way better way to explain uh, inheritance. Because in a position of generalization, we have specialization, which is when a child class inherits from a parent class. It's the reverse process of generalization meaning that you create a new subclass from an existing one. And to me, these two concepts are way better to understand how inheritance work, and I think that uh, it makes more sense, to be honest, because you can't be a specialization of two things, right? You can only be a specialization of one thing. So let's see how this applies to Godot, right? First we'll see specialization, then we'll see generalization, okay? Here we have two classes. One is the fade out rect, and note how I will explain this to you because words are very powerful. Fade out rect is a color rect specializing in fading out. So fading out is when you transition from transparent to black, and it uses a animation player. So note how I say that a fade out rect 
is a color rect, so this uh, implies that it inherits from a color rect. So if we see here, we have a fade out rect, which is type of color rect. So it inherits from a color rect. Okay, so fade out rect is a color rect that uses an animation player. When we say use, we are implying that it aggregates another class. So if you don't know about aggregation yet, look at the, the video that is popping the card on your screen because I already talked about aggregation. So let's go from start again. Fade out rect is a color rect which uses an animation player that has a fade out animation. So this animation fades from transparent to black. If we play here, and we, if we go here in the fade in rect, the fade in rect is a color rect which uses an animation player that has a fade in animation. So the fade in animation is an animation that uh, animates the, the color from black to transparent. Okay, so this can be two specializations of a color rect. So these nodes, th these classes here, are two color rects specialized on fading right but we as you see we have a very common behavior that basically just change the, the values of the the behavior right we can pretty much say that we just have a single behavior with different directions so we can use a generalization to combine these two behaviors into a more general one so since these two behaviors the fade in and fade out are very similar we can create a general class that generalizes this behavior so let's create a fade color rect right so i will create a new scene here i'll go here into color rect and note that we are specializing a color rect as well because we are using a color rect that will be specialized in fading so color rect we are already inheriting a color rect, right? And I will go here in layout, and for rect, make this black. And this color rect will have, it will aggregate an animation player. So color rect will aggregate an animation player and this will be a fade rect, okay? So let's save this as fade rect. Let's create an animation here. Actually, I will go here and save this fade in animation as just fade animation. Uh, fade. Okay. So the fade rect is a color rect that uses an animation player with a fade animation. So this is the animation that it does. So in Godot Engine, you can use a script to specialize a node to create an inherited node. So let's go here add a new script and you can see that it inherits color rect so uh, let's create this and you see that this extends the color rect functionalities the color rect capabilities so we have access to everything that a color rect has and we will specialize it in fading so since it will be specialized in fading let's create a fade uh, function here that will have two types which by default it will be in so let's create uh, a num here, num uh, fades in and out. And if it is, let's try to match the type here, match type. If it is in, we will go to the animation player and play the fade animation. And if it is out, we'll go to the animation player and play it backwards because this is basically what a fade out is right it plays a fade animation backwards here we have a specialized color rect which basically is specialized in fading so let's save this and now we have a general fade class general fading node the other way that you can extend a class that you can create a specialized class is by using the scene new inherited scene so let's say we want this uh, fade rect to fade from time to time okay so it already has the the capability of fading and we want it to fade based on time so it will be a timed fade rect for instance let's create a new scene new inherited scene a fade rect and we can also take rid of these classes here because we already have a general fade class so let's take rid of them 
We don't need them anymore. Fade out as well. We just have a fade class and let's create a timed fade now. So let's close this, don't save, don't save. And now we have a fade class. Note that we can delete anything from a inherited scene because this is the purpose, right? You don't want to delete anything that is from the base class because you are extending it, you are not modifying it. And let's add a time timer here. From time to time, let's say from, from one second to another, or from two seconds, it will start fading, okay? So let's connect this timeout to this fade function, connect, and we will say that this will be a timed fade rect. And since we are aggregating a timer, we can also modify these parameters as well. So we can have different wait times. I, I just add this one because uh, I want to test with two seconds, but you can use any wait time you want. This is just an example, right? So let's say we have now a timed fade rect. And if we test this, it will pass two seconds and it will fade in. So it will make it again and again and again. Okay. And the fade rect is just a, a rect that can fade in and out, right? So if you go here in the ready, we can tell it to fade out as well. So let's try to test this. And here we have it fades out. Let me change this to fades because this makes more sense and take rid of this, this. So this is inheritance, generalization and specialization. These are basically the same concepts, but for me personally, generalization and specialization makes a lot of sense, makes more sense than just inheritance because as I said, it may imply that the class can have uh, more than one parent, you know? And for this video, this is it. If you like this kind of content, leave a thumbs up. I have to ask this more. I need engagement here in the channel. If you are not subscribed yet, subscribe below. Don't forget to subscribe. I will make more content about this. And if you really want to get more content from me, if you really appreciate my work and what I'm doing here, the best way you can support me is becoming one of my patrons. And by the way, let's welcome Andrews Kuhl. Welcome Andrews, and thank you so much for joining us. This is it. Thank you so much for watching, keep developing, and until the next time.